everybody, Ridley Fox here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So today I'm hoping to get a couple of tames. I am wanting to tame an Ichthyornis and a Pteranodon. So I did see an Ichthyornis down here and hoping we can tame it. Those are the flyers, you know, the birds that are very annoying and they fly around you screeching and attacking you. And they steal your stuff, right? So, they're actually a pretty good shoulder pet. You can use them to, like, kill a dodo or a fish. And they'll bring it back to you, and then you can harvest it for prime meat or prime fish. So, it's a good way to be able to get some easy prime fish and prime meat. And then, once we get it, I'd like to go down to where I saw a pteranodon. I was just exploring on the raft, you know, off camera. And I saw a pteranodon, a level 150, stuck in a rock. And then like an idiot, I went and got it out of the rock. <laughs> I should have left it there. But, you know, I'm hoping it will still be there and we'll be able to go back and tame it. So that's my plan. And we'll see how that goes. So there is an Ichthyornis flying around. Oh, I, yeah, that's an Ichthyornis. I want to see if we can tame that. Now let's first see if there's anything in the area that we need to kill. You know, because there are a lot of snakes and things like that around here from the swamp. There's one right there, see? I mean, let me let her off. Did the wrong key. Come on. You coming? Here we go. Alright. Good job. Is there anything else that we need to take out? All right, I don't see anything. Let me come back down here. I mean, hopefully we can get this bird. Hopefully he'll attack us. You know, that's... I mean, you're supposed to bowl them. I've never actually done one in vanilla. You know, I've done one with the immersive taming mod, and that was pretty easy. So this is going to be a lot different. Just put these over here so they don't get involved. But I want them close enough that I can run to them if I need help. So I've got Daria holding on to a bunch of narcotics. We're going to need that because their torpidity goes down really quick. So I'll come get that. I've got some fish to feed her. Let's see what level it is. Where is it? It is 55. It's a female, I think. Yeah. So they're pretty hard to tame. You're going to have to try and somehow get them to attack you and then bowl of them and you're not supposed to hit them in the head because that will kill them so you have to hit them with the body and even then you've got to be careful so we'll just wait and see if she'll come in here come back to shore and attack me Oh, I missed it. How did I miss it? It was right there. You can really lose a lot of bolas trying to do this. There we go. Let me back up. So I'm going to wait a few seconds in between. And she may fly away. I may have to bola her again. It's two. Three. 
Just let that take effect. Oh. Why did why did that happen? Alright, let's see if she comes back this way. Don't fly away. I can't believe it. Probably bullet her too quickly. I was afraid she was gonna get away. Alright, come on. Got her. Now, hopefully her tepidity is going down. I don't want to kill her. There. She is not dead. Where'd my fish go? She must have already taken that fish from me. Alright, I'm going to have to try and get a fish... There's a fish down here. All right. I'll bring it up here and harvest it. Where is she at? Okay. There you go. So hopefully she'll start eating. See how bad her health is just from shooting her? So she probably won't be that good of a tame. Let me go get my animals, my dinos, and bring them back over here. So they can help protect her. Where are they at? There we go. So we're going to have to stand guard over her. And I'm probably going to have to put a lot of narcotics in her too. There she is. Let me check her out. Yeah, see her tepidity is dropping already. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it. Let me tell her to stay. So I'm just going to sit here and babysit. And when she gets close to coming out of it, I'll bring you back. Or if something happens, I'll bring you back. I'm really excited. I'm surprised it went that well. It's supposed to be really hard to tame them. So we'll see how it goes. So I'll see you in a few minutes. So we're at 71% now. We're getting there. I just wanted to show you because... Check out her torpidity. It, it just drops like crazy. I've used 16 narcotics on her already. So <clears throat> I'll be using a lot more. I, I may end up using most of this narcotics. I had over 40, I think. But she's come along. She'll be tamed pretty soon. It's been pretty quiet. We haven't really had anything come over here. Other than the brontosaurus. She came over here and stomped all over us. I ended up putting these two on passive while she was over here. Just to make sure, you know, nobody got hit and started attacking. But they're back on neutral. And so I'm just waiting. She looks like she's healing up. She's getting her health. I think the narcotics also gives her some health, too. When you read it, it says increases your health but puts you to sleep. So that's probably helping her to heal. Now, the taming effectiveness is not very good. It's at 79%, and it keeps dropping. But I'm not too concerned about that. I just would like to get one tamed. It doesn't need to be a high level or anything. So she's at 74% now. So I'll bring you back when we're real close to waking her up.
All right, so she's close to level on up. She's a 97%. I think one more feed and she'll be tamed. I'm going to call her Lucy. I'm excited. I'm always excited when I get a new team. So then we'll try her out. We'll go find a dodo or a fish and see how she does. Almost there. Yeah, we only had a Dillo come around and I took Dari over to kill that one. I didn't want it coming too close. So she should get about 20 levels. Been pretty quiet, actually. I'm surprised. We were lucky. She should be getting ready to eat. See how her tepidity's gone down more? There she goes. And she was a 55. I'm going to make her stay. And let me change her behavior. We want her on attack my target. And let me add her to my current group. So I can control her with the others. All right. We got, oh, wait a second. I want to put her on... Hunt and retreat. So, that's what she's on. Isn't that right? Uh, hunt. Okay, she's on hunt and retreat. Alright, so let's get going. We'll start heading back towards base and see if we can find a dodo or see if we can see a fish in the water that we can test her out on. She coming? Yeah. There are lots of dodos farther down. Alright, let me just check in the water and see if I see anything in here. Is there a fish around? Nope. Oh. There's one. Oh, no, that's the, that's that frog. I'll just go farther down. Yeah, you know when I went and looked for that pteranodon, I also saw a 100 dodicarus over there. It's in a dangerous area, so I'm not keen to just go right over there right now to get it. Pretty soon I'll be a level 62 and. I'll be able to get the Argentavis. You know, I'll get the saddle, and then we'll try and tame one. But I need to get the Pteranodon first. The Pteranodon will enable me to get close to where the Argentavises are on the mountain and get close where we can get her to follow us over to the beach and have a taming trap over here and then tame one up. Okay, here we go them to stay. So she's on attack my target on my shoulder. So what I do is I look at the dodo and I do my whistle to attack this target. And then I release her. Well, I thought she was going to do it. Let's try it again. She's on aggressive. Maybe I didn't do it right. And hold it down. There she goes. <laughs> poor thing, that poor dodo. But she'll kill it. Lucy will kill it and bring it back. And if it's glowing, I can harvest it for prime meat. What? Daria. You were not supposed to get that. Why did you do that? Behavior. Now, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why she took it. 
Did you get prime fish? No. And you did not either. Oh, man. Let's give her some melee damage. Let's try it again. I don't know why that happened. I, that is so weird. Maybe I need to put them on passive. I don't like doing that. Alright, we'll try it. Put them on passive. She's going to be on... This is funny. Uh, I'm just got to figure this out, so... You have to bear with me. Let's see if we can find another dodo. There should be some up here. There's one over here. Now, Daria, you better not eat it. I know you weren't hungry. Alright, let's try this one. Are you going to get it? Let's try it again. I think you have to have them on your shoulder. This attack my target is always flaky with me. Come on. <laughs> it worked a minute ago. Okay, let me try it again. There. There. Bring it over here, away from him. Alright. Now I'm going to harvest it. I think I do the pickaxe, right, for more meat. So I got four prime meat, see? Six prime meat. Pretty good. Same thing works for... Fish, you get prime fish. Alright, where's where's Diamond? Here she comes. Let's find a fish. I want to do a fish. I think you can do those trilobites too, but I think they'd be kind of heavy. We'll try it one day. I want to find a fish. Let's see if there's one in here. All right, come back here. Put you back on... Oh, where'd you go? Where are you going? Come back here. There you go. Let's put her back on. Attack my target. They should all be on passive. All right, let's see if we can see a fish in here. Trilobite. Why are there no fish nearby? That is so weird. All right, we'll go farther down. I'm sure we'll see one. Maybe there'll be one on this side. Tell them to stay. No? Oh, there's one. Okay. She should be on attack my target, right? Where's that fish? I have to be able to see it to target it. There it is. There she goes. Go get it. God, look at that. Isn't that cool? Come over here. 
Wow. That's a big fish. I... We got 24 prime meat from that. That's pretty awesome. I'm just going to give her some fish. I'll let her hold all this. I don't care if she eats it. <laughs> There's your reward. See? She's pretty cool to have. You know, it's really great. I wouldn't carry her around all the time. You know, I might just keep her in a soul trap when I'm out and about. And use her to get the prime meat when I need it, when I'm taming. I think she'll be good when I want to get the baryonyx. Because I'll want to give the baryonyx some prime fish. If I don't have the kibble at the time. So I need to start getting kibble too. I need to get a female dodo or some eggs. Because if we can get a bunch of eggs laid, I can tame an overrafter. They eat eggs. Went to tame them, you have to give them eggs. And so I would just use some dodo eggs. You don't need, you know, the best eggs for an over after because you're not wanting to fight with them. You just want them to run around your tames. You put them on wander around your tames. And they will encourage your tames, your female tames, to lay unfertilized eggs. And you get more eggs that way for your kibble. And I think they'll pick eggs up, too. I'm not really sure. Is this a female? All right, let's go ahead and get this. See if we can get her. I'm going to put her on neutral. You put her, get her to stay. I don't want her to attack. Let's just put everybody on neutral. Okay. And let me give her a little more health, maybe. Alright, so. This is not going to be the prettiest thing. <laughs> you may not want to watch. What level is this lady? I could accidentally kill her. She's a level 10. But I'm just going to try punching her a couple times. To knock her out. I don't want to use anything bigger than that, because it would definitely kill her. I want to knock her out. Come on, baby. Knock you out. Don't die, please. Alright, she's knocked out. And I'll give her these medjo berries. Ooh, that went better than I thought. I really don't like hitting the dinos like that. And now I'm burning up, so I'm going to come over here. She already tamed, and it won't take her long. Yeah, I'm burning up. There we go. So we'll call her Dixie. Dixie Four. Uh, she was a 10, wasn't she? I like to put their original level right at the end of their name all right so we don't want you on attacking target we're just going to put you on neutral and you can follow me come on i think i can pick her up yeah <laughs> take a look at her she's bigger than you'd think when you pick her up isn't she all right oh, no i need some water I'm just going to put her in a soul trap, I think. How do I let her go? Uh, come on. Oh, there. Alright, just double it, click F. Let me get my soul traps, and I'm just going to put her in here to make it easier to take her home. She'd be kind of slow otherwise. All right. That's good. Well, I'm probably going to look for a couple more of those. 
All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll head home to base. It's getting kind of late in the day. It's not that late. It's about 3 o'clock, I guess. And I want to go in the morning to go for the Pteranodon. So if we tame her and we have to sit there a long time, I don't want to be there overnight. Because that's not fun. I will see you in the morning when we're getting ready to go get the Pteranodon. I hope we can get her. It'll be awesome. Hey, everybody. It is morning, and I brought the primed cooked meat that I had to the raft because the Pteranodon actually likes that better than the prime meat, uncooked prime meat. I looked it up on Dodo Dex. So it likes cooked prime over the raw prime, and then the raw meat after that. And then it goes to the cooked prime fish. So we've got all this prime meat that I had cooked, and so that should be enough, I think, to tame her. If not, we'll have to go to probably the raw meat unless we get some more over there. I do have my Ichthyornis in here. I just put her in a soul trap. I am going to put Daria in a soul trap while we go over there. Just because when you're on your raft, if you have an animal on your raft, you will get attacked. You're more likely to get attacked. And if there's nothing on the raft and you're just driving the raft, you're not going to get attacked. So I think it's safer just to put her in a soul trap while we're traveling. And I'm going to keep uh, my Dimorphodon on my shoulder. So I'll just put her up here. And we're going to start heading over there. So I've got a couple storage boxes on the raft. And I have a bed, a mortar and pestle, and a refrigerator and campfire. Just in case we need that stuff. The refrigerator, the little preserving bin, is really good to have on here. Because as you've got your food in there that you want to tame with, you can stick it in there and it will make it last longer. It won't last very long in your own inventory. Now, when I was exploring yesterday down here off camera, I did see some Rexes. So we might see some. Hopefully there's not one near the Pteranodon that I want. So we got Daria just up here on the left. a little bit farther. I wonder if there are any other sabers up here. My other saber is just really low level. I'm just keeping that one at the base. He can help protect the base. Now there are leads in the water that could come and destroy the raft, so I have to stay close to shore if I can. I think I probably need to go this way. Yeah, I saw Rex right over here. He was like a level 20 maybe, 10 or 20. Am I stuck? Okay. Yeah, he's a level 20. And then he went back up into the woods. So there's no telling where he's at. I mean, it's very unlikely that he's dead. That's probably why we're not seeing much out here. He cleaned it out, I'm sure. And then I saw another Rex just farther up. So they're coming down from the mountain. And there's a Didicarus. That one, I think, is a low-level one. 
he's not very high at all. Let me see if, if I can get him on the... Where is he? Level 15. You know, that's not worth getting. And then I saw another one down here and to the left. Pretty far down. Not far from the beach. And he was a level 100, so that's the one I'm thinking about trying to tame, unless I see a better one after we get the Argentavis. Once we get the Argy, we'll be able to just pick him up and put him in a taming trap. So my goal is to try and get the Pteranodon, and then we'll be able to fly to look at the bases and eventually use him to find a good RG. And then we can use the RG to start getting some tames and moving our base. See, ooh, there he is. See him? There's that Rex. And he's not far from where the Pteranodon was down there. <laughs> I want to make sure there's not a leads around here. Hopefully there's not one in here. He should not come after me because I'm sailing the raft. Unless he comes because I have my Dimorphodon on my shoulder. But see, he's ignoring me. Now, if I were to get down on the raft and I'm not sailing, he's going to come after me. Let's see what he does. You do not want a Rex to come after you. Uh, I've had that happen, and I still can picture a Rex's mouth coming down on me. <laughs> yeah, I know it's just a game, but it was it, I was just shocked. <laughs> so I think that Pteranodon was down here, so hopefully he won't find his way down here. I doubt that he will. Because he was down there last time I was here, and he didn't come down here. Let's see, where is he? May have been farther up. And hopefully we'll see him flying around. I did see another Pteranodon, but he's pretty far away from here. That was 130. That might be him up there. Let me see. Yes, that's him. Oh, I hope there's nothing out here that's dangerous. I have seen Carnos around here before. So we just have to bowl of him and then we can trank him. Looks like he's landing. I don't see anything around here. Alright, let me Ebola him. This may take a few tries. I don't know if we do him in the head or not. I don't want to kill him. I think you do him in the head. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't want to kill him. I thought you did him in the head. Let me just... Just not really sure. I was going to look on Dodo Dexter. They're not saying where to shoot him that I can tell, so it probably is okay to hit him in the head. I'm just going to have to try and get him. Where did he go? He'll come down again. Hope he didn't pass out. Is he on my little taming thing? No. I 
I would hate to kill him. Where are you, buddy? He flew off. He'll come back. He should come back. There he is. I think that's him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's over there. Let me get her out of here. And then I'll get her some food. Neutral. And we're going to go over there. He's coming back this way. I probably just need to re bowl him quicker. I don't know if that would have done any good, but we're bound to run into something over here. I hope not. Which one is it? Is it that one there? Yes. I hope there's nothing over here. Good. Whoop. Oh, I hope I didn't hit him again accidentally. I gotta go get that prime meat. Let me go get the prime meat. I hope nothing eats him. <laughs> On the raft. Okay, let's get it. Come on. I need them to protect him. If anything comes up. There you go, buddy. This health isn't too bad. This torpidity is not bad. Looks kind of quiet right now, so that's good. Come on. Let's eat some food, baby. It's a male. See, I thought I was hurting him, but he's already red, you know. <laughs> so I, what I thought was blood was probably just his color. He's not hungry. Yeah, he's not hungry yet. Yeah, I may have to give him some narcotics. We'll just see. What time is it? It is 7.25. See if it eats. I don't want to put all of that in there. I don't think I'm going to need... There he goes. So that was 8% that he got from that one feeding. So he's probably going to have, like, what, 9 or 10 more to go. Probably 11 or 12. So I'm just going to sit here. Ooh, oh, good. That's the most shops over there. It's pretty quiet. I can't believe it. We're lucky. And we're going to wait. And I will bring you back. We'll see you in a few. All right, so we are at 97%. And he's going to 
have a taming effectiveness 85.2. He's going to have 63 plus levels. He's 150 now, so that's pretty good. We didn't have anything bother us. It's been really quiet. We've been very lucky right here. I think I'm going to name him Flash. And once he tames up, I think I'm going to just put Daria in a soul trap. And then we'll go for a fly around. I'll take you up there and show you where I used to have a base. And then we're going to go look at some of the base locations. At least one or two. Not that many. We'll have to... I don't think we really have time to do more than that. But we'll do one or two spots. Just check out the area. It'll be fun just to fly around. I did have to give him a lot of narcotics, so when you're taming, you definitely want some extra narcotics with you, just in case. Say, bring around 40 or 50. I do have a saddle for him, so we'll be ready to go for a flight. And then I'll just come back and get the taming ref later. Go ahead and put some regular meat in there, because he'll eat a lot of meat when we're flying around. Be too much longer. There we go. Flash 150. Where are you? Let's put your saddle on. And let's check his weight. He can only carry 213. He doesn't have very good weight. I don't know that he can even carry me. Let's see. Yeah, he can carry me okay, so that's good. His stamina is pretty good. He has, I think he has decent health. So let me get Daria, and I'll put her up. Let's see if he can carry us. There we go. A little heavy. We'll go over to the raft and drop a couple things off. Can't see much of anything right now. It's kind of gotten pretty crappy out here. Where is the raft? There it is. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Alright, let's see what we got. What can we put up? That's pretty heavy. Put you down here. I don't need to carry that around. I'm not going to carry those. I'm not going to be taming anything, so that should help with the weight. And I'll give him some more food. Um, I'll just bring them with me. Hopefully this will clear up. Uh, hopefully I won't hit the wrong button and jump off. That's what... I haven't flown anything in a while. Let me show you where we are on the map. We're up at the top right. And we're going to go down over towards where that blue button is at the bottom. You know, just below us. And I think that's where I was interested in looking. I'm just guessing. It's hard to tell where it is and what I remember. So I used to have a base up here. And it was great. I really liked it. I just put some walls here. 
and it was very quiet up here, but you're so far away from everything. You know, if you look at the map, we're just up in the upper right corner of the map. Now, uh, there is a note here, so we're going to get this explorer note. There we go. So he just leveled. And we're going to put some in weight. We want him to be able to carry. We're going to give him some stamina. He's got pretty good health. I'm going to give him more weight just so he can carry more. All right, now it's a nice day. Look at this. So nice to be able to fly. Now let's see if there's anything in this drop that we can get. There's a Dillo over there. Keep an eye out for him. I really need to put him in a group. I'm going to put you on neutral. Put you on my current group. Some blueprints. I already have that one. Metal ceiling. Yeah, I've got the water jar. I've gotten two blueprints already. We just gotta keep an eye on our stamina when we're flying around. Because if you run out of stamina, you're just going to drop to the ground on your pteranodon, and it could be in a very bad location. Now, I know there's a Rex up here, so I'm going to go ahead and top up his stamina. Just keep an eye out to see if there's anything around. Look at that! trying to zoom in. It's a nice picture. I thought that Rex was really pretty up here. He's a little farther down, isn't he? So if you sprint... Oh, there's another note. Let's get that. If you sprint when you're... Oh, hopefully he won't come up after us. We got it. He's coming after us. <laughs> Beautiful Rex. And let's put this. We got 11 points. Five in weight. Bunch in stamina. Because we want... To not have to stop all the time when we're flying. I gotta be careful around here because there are Argentavises around here. We're just gonna skirt the mountain, go back towards base, and then go towards the green obelisk. We'll check out that spot we saw the other day when we were exploring, and then go see if we can find the other spot that I'm thinking of. C's already getting low on stamina.
And typically, you know, he'll eat when he's needing stamina. That's what it seems like. I may stop and just grab a little more food. I don't want to run out when we're out. Oh, I'm excited. This is fun. Now, if I had a parachute, I would want to wear that while I'm flying, because if I accidentally hit the wrong button and <laughs> jump off, I can use the parachute. Here we are. Let me grab a little more meat just to make sure we're not going to run out. Leave her here. Uh, I'll take... Let me take you out. Let you out of there. Um, and I'm going to take you out because I'm not going to go riding around. give them some food. Unequip that. Oh, come on now. You don't need to be following me. Alright. We'll take this. Give you one. Oh, you've got some points. We'll spend that when I get back. And you need something to eat. I think you'll eat the fish. Alright. Get, get around all my tames. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Does he, did he fly outside? I hope he didn't go down here. I don't see him. He must have gone outside. Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Come on, where are you? He's not out here. Did I miss him? Where's Flash? I don't see him on the roof. Did he go down there? There he is. Oh, look at him. Come up here. Alright. Crazy. So what's his weight like now? So he's got he can carry me no problem. Alright, let's head that way. There's the mountain. Now there are Rexes and Sabretooths, Argentavises around there. Yeah, it's always good when you're going over one of those explorer notes to also ride your mount that you want to get points. Because they'll get a lot also. So that's the green obelisk. And I think the base spot that we went and looked at was right down... To the left of it. 
give him some more stamina. I'll be working on his stamina and his weight. I'm not really going to be wanting to use him to fight. Just to get me around when I need to. They're actually faster than Argentavis's. With Argies can do more melee. And carry a lot. Just checking to make sure there's nothing going to jump on us. Now this is where we came before when we were exploring, so I think the spot we were looking at was right over here. I want to be a little more central instead of right on the coast, even though I like the coast a lot. Anytime you want to go anywhere, it just takes a long time because you have to, you know, go all the way across, you know, somewhere. There's the Redwoods, I think. That's nice to see it that close. All right, so I think this place, we already got that note right there. Yeah, so we'd come up this way, and we were over here. I mean, this is nice here, too. was down here. Is this it? Yeah, this was it. Make sure there's nothing going to attack us. Yeah. So we're overlooking the swamp here. There's a capra down there. See him walking by his head. Those are the ones that will dismount you. Well, that's not the forest. I thought that was the redwood forest, but it's not. The redwood forest is the island, the big island in the middle. So I think I would like to be a little closer Oh, there's a Baryonyx. What level is he? Let me land and see if I can get an eyeball. Ninety-five. That's a nice one. I'd rather get one higher than that, up in the hundreds, you know, 150 if I can. There's a Sarko. I like those guys. Seventy-five. Alright, let's go this way. Check out the obelisk. So let's see, where are we going? We are... I want to go to the right more. This way, I guess. There's Redwood Forest. Yeah. This is nice right here. 
we could wall it off somehow. Yeah, you could wall it off. Just put some walls there. And be sitting up here, you know. You could have a Rex come across here, maybe. I don't know. That's a nice spot. Right by the waterfall. Isn't that pretty over there? It looks like another Baryonyx down there. Level 20. That's too low. Now, this isn't the spot that I thought of originally, but I do like it. To try and remember where that is. Okay. Like that. Let's go over here. What's this look like up here? I don't think I'd want to be right there. I think they're at the spot I'm thinking of. There's an island over here that's pretty cool. If I can remember how to find it. I think it's that way. Might be part of this. And I think the other spot I'm thinking of is this way, but I really don't remember. Now, when we build our taming raft, we're going to build it over here. So that we can take it around the top side of the redwoods. And maybe I want to tame a thyla. What's going on down there, Carnos? Get in the galley. Uh, the redwoods are pretty, but very dangerous. Um, it wasn't over there. I know that. Check and see. Let me see the map. I can't remember wh where that spot was. Maybe on the end of this island, more south. On the end of it, I'm guessing. I was thinking it was here, but I could just be misremembering. I know it wasn't up on that. Look at the spino right there. We need to keep an eye out for an Argentavis. Not an Argentavis. We need to keep an eye out for an uh, Ankylosaurus so we can start getting metal. I think there are usually metal nodes on these. You can get a lot of metal on these. There's another note. We're going to go ahead and get that. Let's make sure there's nothing else up here. More stamina. More weight. So he's getting really good stamina. Yeah, I think... Could have been this little section here. I'm not even sure. Let's just go look at it. I think that's it. It's got to be over here. It's got to be this area down here. I'm just not positive. I don't think it was over here. Let's just check. You get a lot of Rexes coming down from the mountains up here.
Yeah, this was not what I was thinking of, so I think it's the other way. That might be the volcano. Sometimes you'll see Thylas just walking around on the ground. If you're lucky, you know. You know, if you want to tame one. So I don't know if this would be a good spot to have a base. You know, I think you could end up having things crawl up here. Pretty easily. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> Where is it? He's running out of stamina. Everything's uneven right here. Little confies or something. Yeah, that's not a good spot. <laughs> it may be at the top of this area that I'm thinking of. I think this is it right here. This looks like it to me. This is the area I was thinking of. So it's pretty close to the swamp. You're right there. And right across there, hop skipping away are the redwoods and you know you're closer in I like all this area here and you could put walls you know it's pretty high which is nice right you're not gonna have a rex I don't think get right up here and I think you could put some walls down here to keep things from coming in here. Just go across and you'd be doing pretty good. You could start out kind of small and then push it back. So I really like that. I mean, you might have something come up here, but if you have some walls up here on the side, you might need to do that. And we just came up that way, I think. So I do like this spot. You know, you could get something climbing up here. I don't know. I don't know if a Rex would climb up here. You might. You just have to put walls along the side, maybe. I don't know. pretty through here. I really like it. Let's see here. And then over here, you're overlooking the, the swamp and the water. You get a lot of high-level dinos around here, I think. 
And there's the green obelisk right here. So let me see where it is on the map. Yeah, so we're right there. I like that. So this is a, a spot that I like. Now let me see, I don't know if we'd want to have, I don't know if we'd want to have a base over this way. So then you have to go through the swamp to get anywhere. Right now we don't have to go through the swamp to get to the redwoods. Just run over here. I don't know how much we'll be coming over here anyway, but... And I like that it's high up on the cliff. Just trying to see what's what. There's some nice spots over this way, I think. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Look at that. What is that down there? can't even find it. Where is it? I don't know, but I don't want to stay here. I don't want him coming after me. <laughs> Some kind of flying insect thing. It was big. I've never seen that. Okay, what is this right here? This is... I wouldn't want to be here just because... I don't know, it seems like there'd be too much stuff coming up here. Very easy for swamp stuff to get here. But you're close. gonna follow along here we're kind of going towards the other location I was thinking of I think we'll go check that out I think I would want to try and have a base in the redwoods I think that's a little dangerous and I don't want to be in the middle of a swamp I think that's the red obelisk up in front of us. Could be wrong. But yeah, it is. There's a lot of swamp up this way. Is it, why does it look green? Where are we at? I'm trying to think of where I'm at. Okay. We need to keep going this way to get to where I was thinking of the base. Oh, no, it's not green. That's the red one. That's the drop. <laughs> Thought I was turned around. Yeah, so the other spot I was thinking of is just up here. This area right up in front of us, where it's flat. I still like this area. 
to check this out here. So we're still very close to the Redwoods. It's fairly central, you know, I guess. It looks pretty fairly flat up in there. You do get a lot of raptors running through here. I don't think that would be a problem once you get your walls up. I don't know if a rex would climb up here. Could probably just put some walls down around this edge. Maybe around this edge. Maybe put a gate over here and some walls to prevent anything from climbing up. You might get some snakes coming up here. So you are going to need some walls, I think. I don't think they're going to climb up that, though. I think there's just certain spots they'd climb up. But you could start with something small, you know, kind of like what I have already, and then make it bigger if I need to. I mean, you could just put the base right here in the middle. Pretty nice spot. fly around the other side and we'll just do a circle around the redwoods and then I'll head back. So you can't really bring a raft on this side of the redwoods, but you can do it around the other side, have a taming raft set up. some snakes. And there's a spot down here that might be good also. So we would be in a better spot for looking for a Baryonyx. You know, where we're at is probably not a bad spot for looking for that, but this is a good spot. So up here is another good spot, you know. I don't think a Rex would be able to climb up this either. This is actually a really nice spot. It's pretty, there's a lot of rafters over here. Once you get some walls, it's not a problem. I mean, there's one right there. Very flat. I like this, actually. I like all three. get on this little tip over here maybe and put some walls right here to start out with and then put a taming raft down here that would be pretty good you know would be close to it throw some walls I would say how do you get down from here I think you go that way yeah so you could just throw a couple walls up here so nothing climbs up here. And I don't I don't know if anything would climb up here. 
on those rocks. I think this would be a good spot. If you could get some walls across here. Initially, and then you could expand, you know. If you make this area your base, just you'd have to surround it in walls. Not as flat as I would like, but it's not bad. I like this spot too. Alright, so that's three spots. I like this spot, the one we just came from, and then that first spot, which is on the other side. I don't know what it'd be like over there. I don't think I want to be so close to the volcanoes and all that, because you get a lot of rexes around them and stuff. I bet you'd see a lot of neat stuff from here, too, looking out onto the redwoods. And you could put a raft right down there. I've done that before. Ooh, what's down there? Spino. Spino over here. See him right there? I don't know why I saw something down here. Looks like rafters. level is he? I've never had a Spino before. 25. Oh, and there's a Alpha Trike down there. So I'm going to say between those three spots, if y'all watch the video before I decide, give me some comments. Let me know which one you prefer. I'm kind of leaning towards this one, I think, but I do like the other two also. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. We got a lot done. We got our Ichthyornis tamed, which I'm excited about, and we also got Flash here. Level 150 Pteranodon. Now he's, I think he got 64 levels, so that was pretty good. He's quite, quite attractive, I think. I really like him a lot. And now we're going to pick our base location, our permanent base location. So please let me know what you like. I'm going to pick sometime during the week. So if you see this before then, let me know what you think. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. I really did, and I will see you next time. Later, later.